parking lot of a Quick Trip, which if you haven't heard of Quick Trip before, mm. like Katie Fitzgerald once said, it doesn't get better than this. Mm. Yes, this is a five-star gas station experience. We're going to go in there, grab a pothole pizza, a.k.a. the official pizza of Lambeau Field, you know, where the Green Bay Packers play, and then I'm going to come out, get back in the car. We're going to go back to my house. I'm going to cook it and then eat it and give you a full comprehensive video review. Quick Trip has always made pizza, and it's been good pizza, but this is the product of a lot of great minds, some fun ideas, and a professional meeting. That's how we got Pothole Pizza. The irony in the name is that it originates in the Midwest, and if you're from the Midwest, you know that we have two seasons, winter and road construction. And that's because our roads are terrible and full of potholes. But now, instead of looking at potholes as something to be negative about, we can find positivity in the pizza pie. The Pothole Pizza series has in total three options. I grabbed the Meat Sweats because I enjoy a very meaty pizza. In addition to the Meat Sweats pizza is the Pep Rally, which is a pepperoni pizza, and then the Sausage Palooza, which is a sausage pizza. And combined, we get the Meat Sweats. What is in inside the meat sweats. Well, a half pound of meat. Jumbo sausage, sliced pepperoni. The big kicker that you may not notice just from looking on the surface is that there are five types of cheese. That is a variety of cheese that is unparalleled, but it makes all perfect sense because this originates from Wisconsin, the cheese head state, and these are all actually handcrafted and assembled in the lacrosse factory where all of Quick Trip's homemade goods are made. We find that one fourth of a pizza is 510 calories, which if you are buying based on calories, this is a pretty good deal. You get about 2,000 calories for $7.99. 32 grams of total fat, 70 milligrams of cholesterol. My doctor said I had Sodium, 1,120 milligrams and 31 total carbohydrates. 28 grams of protein though for all you people trying to get buff. But here's the big part, the cheese blend. There's mozzarella, provolone, parmesan, and asiago, which with the half pound of meat and then a nice tomato sauce is all topped on a thin crust. That makes this, hopefully, better than delivery. But we have to do a formal taste test. So that requires that I cook this pizza, preheat to 425, remove the plastic wrap and cardboard tray, and then place the pizza directly on the center rack, bake for 22 to 24 minutes and then let it sit for five minutes. Well, I did say I'd seen a bit. I first off wanna say that just the wafts that I'm getting off of this thing are making my lips water and I've had a little taste of cheese. And I think we're in for something great. Okay, so it's been 22 minutes, but I can't explain to you the amount of good smells that are coming in front of my nose right now and just making my mouth water. Now, before you question my ability to give you an honest review on tasting pizza, I'll have you know that I have had anywhere from Tony's all the way up to Giardino's, or Giordano's, Gi Gi Giordano's in Chicago. And man, if this college body doesn't tell you that I'm a pizza guy, I don't know what will. Let's get into this. You know, first off, looking at the visual appeal, you can definitely see the different types of cheese rise up in different colors, from light yellows to dark oranges. Also, I may have cooked it a little long, but that's because I didn't check it when I said I was going to. Beginner's mistake. The bottom is not burnt and it has all stuck together. I cooked it directly on the rack because I don't like using using an extra pan, and plus it told me to cook it on the rack, so really I was just following directions. I'm going to be cutting this pizza into eighths because I really appreciate powers of two and you know, eight is two to the power of three. Obviously on a thin crust pizza, you like the crust a little crispy but not burnt. So let's see how I did. Ooh, 
Okay, and look at that. That's you can't necessarily see this, but this is a straight line cut, which usually that's that's hard to do. This pizza is four servings, so hypothetically you could feed four people, but honestly, I'm probably gonna make this a two meal pizza and just eat a half for each meal. Ooh, the sausage even cut right in half. And there is a lot of meat on here, and it's even more apparent now that it's actually cooked. The pepperonis look a bit crispy, which I like but soft in the middle, exactly how you'd want it on a good tasting pizza. Now that we've got the pizza cut, it's time to take our inaugural first bite. It's time for you to take this leap with me. Yeah, they're doing something right here. The sauce is very good. No tastes are insanely overwhelming, but rather they mingle together nicely, all like you know, interlocked and playing on my tongue, a good song to hear to my taste buds. Yeah, I will be eating a lot of this, but we're gonna give one more bite. Quick trip, I think you're onto something. There's not many times where you bite into a frozen pizza and think, wow, this is good. Most cases, you've doused that frozen pizza with ranch and you're sticking it in your gullet because it was cheap and affordable for you, the college student, or whoever decides to buy this. But when you buy a high-class pizza, a frozen one, rarely do you say, wow, this is good. And I say, wow, this is good. This gets the Midwest star of approval from a native Midwesterner himself. Go out to your nearest Quick Trip, grab your rewards card, head on down to the pizza aisle, you know, in the frozen section, and grab yourself a pothole pizza to try for yourself. It is 3411 Heaven approved from three college students who know their pizza. We also know our YouTube videos, so don't forget to drop a like on it and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future videos involving quick trip because while this taste test was fun in this journey of cooking the pizza sniffing the pizza and eating the pizza we have more content with quick trip on the horizon for you and while it may seem like i'm ending this video abruptly i want to finish this pizza because i'm starved and this smells really good as always folks we'll catch you in the next one bird out